Welcome to the Rusted Guarded Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to use this corrugated polycarbonate. I'm using it all over my garden this year. It's really sort of my version of a deconstructed greenhouse. Basically get a rainbow it right along here. I'm going to plant radishes, lettuce, uh, arugula, maybe some bok choy. What I'm planting doesn't really matter. What matters is that you can dome this over like a rainbow, put it right down here, seal it off with some foam board, and you can plant really early. Today's February 28th, where uh, I'm in Maryland Zone 7, <laughs> you're not, and we still are getting snow. Tonight it's going to be 25 degrees, but I'm going to be able to plant a good four weeks early and get crops growing using this technique. Let me show you what it looks like in the garden, then we'll come back and set this up. So this is one bed that I have set up. This involves creating a wooden frame and then you just pop this in here and then you use some bungees to seal it. I'll link the video that shows you how I built this. What I'm gonna do in this video is we're just gonna use some wooden stakes here and down at the end of that piece. This is a six foot piece, the other piece is an eight foot piece. But I just wanna show you how simple it is to really set up. You can get planting now. This is what we're gonna build. The reason that this works and you can get plants out four to six weeks early is because it's low to the ground. You want to stay close to the ground because you're using the warmth of the earth to regulate the temperature in there. Of course the sun will beat through there, warm it up also, but this is really going to keep things close to above free freezing. If it gets really cold, like you know, closer to 23 degrees or something like that, it's going to freeze in there. But these are cool weather crops, they'll be able to handle it. But this design at this height will really regulate the temperature in there and you can start your plants four to six weeks early. The key is that if you're growing plants that are going to get three feet tall, three and a half feet tall, you have to time it right so that they don't outgrow the enclosure. But like radishes, arugula, some lettuces will be perfectly fine in that height. But the broccoli rob, the pak choy that I'm going to be planting in there, you have to time it so that you can take the polytunnel off. Again, today's February 28th, so these are going in really early. It's going to get down to 25 degrees tonight. Going to use the corrugated plastic or polycarbonate. This is 26 inches wide. That's pretty standard, and you can get it in six or eight foot pieces. So, pak choy or bok choy has gone into here. Four inches. I just usually make finger holes throughout my garden for planting. Two seeds in each one. I'll thin them down to one when they come up. Along this row, is ruby red lettuce. I do sell that at my seed shop and I put a seed or two every inch. That's going to be grown for cut and come again so I'm not going to grow that to a full mature heads. I'll just be you know cutting it when I want to. And then about every inch a row going all the way down there I have radishes. Two radish uh, seeds in each hole. Thin them down to one plant when they germinate. Oh beauty. See the worms are coming up the soil is getting warm. And then I'll harvest every other radish when they're smaller that will give plenty of room in between the first and third hole there for these Roxanne radishes to get to full size and then right down the middle I'm growing uh, broccoli rob. Best way to describe it is it just gets a lot of these little blooms that are delicious they do taste a little bit like broccoli but they're all in the same family so you get some leafy greens off of there and all these tiny blooms that you can harvest you can steam you can put in salads. I'm planting them two seeds every two to three inches I will actually thin those out and plant them in other parts of the garden. So I'm going to grow them right down this row but also going to grow under here and then I'll use the broccoli rob as transplants because they get to be two feet three feet tall they get to be really big plants they'll go out through the rest of the garden. So let me set this up for putting the plastic down. We're just going to use some simple stakes today just to show you some options of how you can rainbow this over a planting area early, early, early in the season and get your plants grow. The seeds have been covered. It's raining. If it wasn't raining, you would water them in. You don't have to come back and water this because it's going to be March. This isn't going to evaporate uh, quickly. There's just not enough heat. Plus the dome that we're building is going to keep moisture in there. You can fertilize with a water soluble if you want to. I don't need to. This is my no dig garden. This is really built with compost. There's plenty of nutrients here and all these little crumblings here are alfalfa pellets that I put in um, late last fall. I just kind of work them into the topsoil so that's going to be a fertilizer that gives back. 
So we can do the wooden frames like I showed you in the beginning of the video, or if you want to make it even more simple, three posts. So this is an eight foot piece. You need uh, three fo uh, little stakes cut to 24 inches, 30 inches. Make sure you go down deep enough that they're not going to pop out. With an eight foot piece, three stakes. With a six foot piece, two stakes. And then I have a couple ready here to hold the other side. I want to do this with the camera just to show you how simple it is, I hope. And you just pop it up just like that. Now, this is 26 inches, so you're going to have about 18 inches of planting in there, depending on where you put the dome. I'm going to leave mine out a little bit further so that it covers everything. When it's further out like this, if it snows, it does get pressed down, which is okay in most cases. If you want it to be stronger, you have to bring it in more, and that keeps it more rigid. The snow rolls right off of that. But I want full coverage of where I just planted. I'm going to put my foot here and then just drop a stake right there. Step back and it's that easy. I have it set up. I'll put in the other stakes and then I'll show you how we cap off the sides with foam board or cardboard, pieces of wood, whatever you want to use. Completed. It's not that difficult. The beauty of this design is we can put the foam board right here, cap off both ends when it's really cold like now, beginning of March, will be March 1st tomorrow. We can take them off when it gets warmer, let air circulate under there. If we want to remove these, you just pick it up. You can store them flat. They don't take up a lot of space. Put them away when you're done with them, bring them back out in the fall. This will allow you to start a lot of your cool weather crops for to six weeks early. Get them growing, get more crops to your table earlier, obviously. You can also then put these back out in September, October, grow longer into the season. They're really worth the money. You can get plastic versions, PVC plastic, that's not UV protected. They'll last for a couple of years. You can get polycarbonate with UV protection. They will last longer. Depends on your budget. But the idea is just getting a corrugated piece of plastic because that's what's easy to work with and builds this shape. Let's go over to the other one because I'm actually going to go out and get some foam board. Foam, foam board <laughs> because I ran out. I like using that because it's a little more waterproof than cardboard so it holds up in the rain. But if we come over to this side I'll just show you how we hold it in place. So again, this was a frame. This was the first version and it works really well. It's nice to drop them down. You don't need to use stakes. The uh, frames store easily, but the stakes are cheaper. So you would just drop in a couple of bamboo posts or something like that. And then your foam board just slides in there to cap it out. And again, this is a great space. I'm letting this warm up. This might be where I grow some peppers, some warm weather crops, something like that. Warm weather crops like warmer soil. So I can't do this now, but maybe April 1st, this will be great for the warm weather plants. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, all that kind of stuff. Even get your squash zucchini started by seed in there or something like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some idea of how to use this product in your garden. You can start early. You can extend the season. You can have a lot of fun getting out into your garden while it's still winter. I've got spring fever, but you can get planting now. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.